In this video, we are going to talk about the assumptions behind the simple linear regression model. These assumptions are fundamentals for this model, so you have to be very careful and check that they are satisfied before running a regression, otherwise you might run into trouble. So the five assumptions are linearity, random sampling, sample variation in X, the zero conditional mean, and homoscedasticity. It might not mean a lot of things to you right now, so we're going to go behind each of the assumptions to see what they mean. Let's start with the first assumption. SLR1, linearity in parameter. So for the simple linear regression model, usually we see a model that looks like this, y equal beta 0 plus beta 1 x plus u. So this is linear, and it's linear both in variables and in parameters. So the best is to see an example where we have something that's not linear in variables. So for instance, y equal beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus x2 square plus u. So as you see, because you have the square term here, this is not linear anymore. But it's still linear in parameters. The beta 0 and the beta 1 is still an addition of them. So actually, we could redefine x1 plus x2 square as a new variable, let's say x3. And now we are back to the original model. Now, if you look at this model, y equals beta 0 plus x1 beta 1 plus u. Now this is not linear in parameters anymore because the parameter you're trying to estimate, beta 1, is um, at the exponent of the x. So it's not a simple addition of uh, parameters multiplied with variables. Graphically, so you all know what the linear model looks like. Just as It's just a line. If you have something that looks like this, x y then you don't have linearity anymore what best fits the model is no a curve the second assumption is random sampling It just means that you have to randomly pick your data points in the population. Um, so let's take an example. So if you take randomly your data point from the population, you get this. But for instance, if you take uh, the data from the Sunshine List in Ontario, only salaries above $100,000 are reported, which means you'll get only the points that are above this line, 100K. And instead of having something that looks like the real line like this, you'll get something that be maybe like this, will be biased. So avoid doing this. You have to look at how the data was taken and make sure it was random. Third assumption. Sample variation in X. So what it means, it means that when you look at the X, they have to be 
different. At least one X that's different from the other. So why is that? We're trying to explain how the variation in Y can be explained by the variation in X. If all the X are the same, there is no variation, it'll be very hard to see how a variation in X um, makes the, I, uh, the Y to change. So in the data, that would look like this. We'll have X, Y, and then no variation in X, all the X are the same. You know that from the previous video, the regression line should go through Y bar and X bar. But we have an infinity of line here that go through this point. Uh, the point is a bit too high. With the same sum squared of error because they all have the same error at this point. So we cannot select a line. If you look at it mathematically, you know that beta zero hat, oh, beta one hat equals sum of x minus x bar times y minus y bar over sum of x minus x bar square. If all the x are the same, the bottom term here will be zero for each term. So we will have beta one hat equals something divided by zero. And actually at the top, we'll have xi minus x bar, which is also zero. So it's undefined. We can solve this. The force assumption, SLR4, is a zero conditional mean. It means that the expected U given X should be zero. What happens if it's not the case? X, Y. Now let's say we have this line and you see if I take some range in X, let's say here, all the residuals are negative. So it means I can predict the residual. If you tell me, oh, what the what the predicted value for this x, I could take the regression line and predict that the residual will be negative. So for this particular x, let's say x star, this violates the zero conditional mean and it, you'll see that we'll need that to show that the estimators are unbiased. Finally, SLR5, homoscedasticity, means that the variance of u given x is constant and doesn't depend on i. Depend, doesn't, does not depend on the x um, in the data. So x, y, As you see here, you have more variation at some point and very little variation at some other point. 
this will lead to an estimator that's not efficient and you'll see that in further classes be careful not to confuse it with this kind of shape you might be tempted to say oh it's heteroscedastic the variance is not constant but it's just that we have a lot more data at the middle and a lot less at the extremities it doesn't necessarily mean that the variance changes depending on where you are on the x-axis <laughs>